Let's talk about battle axes, wood chopping axes, and a big misunderstanding. Hi folks, Matt Eaton here, Scholar Gladiatoria. Now, over the years I have made a lot of videos about axes from all periods. So all the way up to the 19th century, things like the tomahawk, all the way back to the Viking era, um, things like this great axe here, great big Dane axe, um, and indeed things in the middle like this uh, 14th century battle axe here. And you'll notice that there are some other examples. There's a pole axe there, there's a, um, a certain type of Viking era axe found in uh, Central, Central Europe, and bearded axes, and there's different types of axes I've got around here. Equally, we might look at other ethnographic uh, axes, uh, axes from Asia, axes from Africa. Axes are something that you can find all over the world pretty much uh, from human history, obviously all the way back into the Neolithic, into the Stone Age. Now, the, one of the things that uh, I, I often encounter when making videos about why did a certain group of people use an axe is people point out that they are also useful as tools. Now, that can be true. Okay, so there are some situations where certain types of axe that were used in the 19th century were used partially as tools and partially as weapons. Okay, however, what I want to make absolutely categorically clear is the majority of fighting axes from anywhere in the world, it could be a 18th century Persian axe or a 16th century Mughal uh, axe from India, or it could be a Zulu um, axe, or it could be a a pipe tomahawk from um, uh, America in the 18th, 19th century. It could be a battle axe from the high medieval period, or it could be a Viking axe. For the most part, these are not the same axes that people did work with, okay? They are built differently, they have uh, different proportions, different characteristics. So if we take an extreme example here, which is the great axe, it should be com really known, but it's commonly known as a Dane axe. They have very thin blades. If we look at this blade, and this is modeled on originals made by um, Thor's Forge, and you'll notice that the blade is very, very thin here, and then the edge, the actual main cutting edge itself is reinforced. Now, not all of these actually have that reinforced edge. A lot of the originals just have a very thin blade. They also, proportionate to the length of their edge here, have quite a small socket. That means if you start trying to chop down a tree with this, it's going to break. Okay, quite simply, the blade is more likely to bend or fracture, work harden, crack. The uh, socket is not really optimized for hitting a hard, heavy object like a tree repeatedly, um, and that's probably going to um, snap the shaft here. Um, equally, if we look at other axes, um, for example, like the uh, tomahawk, the pipe tomahawk, that is not well suited to chopping down trees with because very often there is a hollow tube along here so you can smoke it as a pipe and that is the pipe there. And so this is useful as a fighting implement, it's good for hitting people with, absolutely rubbish at chopping down trees with. Equally if we go into the uh, sort of knightly era of the Middle Ages, then often these types of axes have specialized spikes on them. They just don't have the proportions that you'd really want from a wood chopping axe. You'll notice the blade flares out here to create a long cutting edge, um, and that will get stuck in trees. It won't be very good at splitting and things like that. Obviously, it should go without uh, any question that something like a pole axe is a diabolically bad weapon or implement tool for chopping down a tree with. Um, it's got a straight blade like many halberds do as well, completely catered to fighting. It's got a relatively um, small socket height, um, so it doesn't have an enormous amount of stability on the shaft. Instead, that shaft is strengthened with uh, langettes, which keep the head on. Um, and of course, it's got spikes and hammers and other bits on it. Now, there are some types of axe, if I go to this type of broad axe here, there are some types of axe that yes indeed you could chop a tree down with something with this I mean you could chop a tree down with a machete if you really wanted to you could chop a tree down with a sword however they're not really optimized for it now in the era that uh, for example Viking axes come from I often encounter people who say oh well of course the uh, Vikings loved fighting with axes because they used axes for making their ships 
oh, that's really a false, a false kind of equation you're making there because the axes that they used for fighting are completely different designs to the axes that they used for boat building. Boat building axes have very particular styles to them. And yes, some of them look at first glance like a bearded axe, but they usually have an offset blade, at least the planing ones, and then the normal woodworking axes look like normal woodworking axes. So, uh, and it, it, this becomes even more exaggerated if we look at certain types of Indian and Persian axe, and indeed certain types of African axe, which are fine as fighting implements, much like the um, uh, American Indian fighting tomahawk, but they're completely uh, ill-adapted and ill-built for any type of woodwork, whether it's chopping down a tree or whether it's working with boards to make a ship or anything like that, or make use as any kind of tool. So, the simple fact is, can you use some fighting axes as tools? Yes, you could. Are they optimised for that? No, they are absolutely optimised for fighting with, okay? And moreover, there are many types of fighting axe which simply wouldn't survive very long under the rigours of being used as tools in anything like um, forestry or boat building or house building or anything like this. In all of these periods when axes were used as fighting weapons, there were tool versions of axes which have different proportions, different designs, different constructional details, which mean that they are optimised to be used for the specific job that they are made for. They are not made as fighting weapons. Could you use one of those tools as a fighting weapon? Yes, you can hit someone with anything. You can hit someone with a rolling pin or a kitchen knife or a baseball bat, but that doesn't mean that a rolling pin, a baseball bat or a kitchen knife were designed with combat in mind, because they weren't. So these are optimised fighting weapons and they are different from tool axes. I hope very much that that helps clear this matter up. I suspect that I'll still continue to uh, get some people making the same equation between fighting axes and tool axes, but I hope that this message will slowly bleed out there and people will get, into the, get it into their heads that fighting axes are a very distinct thing. And moreover, therefore, it makes the question of why were axes chosen for combat more interesting. Because the answer is almost never, oh, because they've already got tool axes, because the fighting axe is a different axe from the tool axe. The question of why did they choose axes, for example, why did Vikings or Scandinavians, the Norse, use axes so popularly in the early medieval period as a fighting weapon, when they didn't use the tool axes as their fighting weapon, they used specialised fighting axes as a fighting weapon. It makes that question more complex and more interesting, I believe because they chose these as weapons and adapted them as weapons. They weren't simply using their tools. It's a completely different question. Thanks a lot for watching. If you're not subscribed, please consider doing so, and hopefully I'll see you back on the channel really soon. Cheers, folks.